It's alright, it's okay. There's something to live for. Jesus told me so. What's up everybody, back again with another video review and this time I watched Bronson. Now I have to admit I'm a little worried here because it seems like with this source fed movie club thing we have a good movie and then a crappy movie and then a good movie and then a crappy movie and I won't get into it now but Annie was really crappy, Bronson's alright, uh, so the next one has to be fucking terrible. Either way, it's good to see another movie by Nicholas Winding Refn. I've seen all of his movies, I'm kind of a fan of all of his movies, but for wildly different reasons. But it's going to be interesting to see what the rest of the movie club thinks about Bronson, because given some of the reactions to Drive, I think a lot of people are probably going to hate this movie. Bronson tells the story of England's most notorious and violent criminal, uh, which is odd considering he never murdered anyone. Um, but he was locked up for 34 years, 30 of which are in solitary confinement, and the movie itself plays out as a stage play almost in his mind about the events leading up to his incarceration, how he was incarcerated, what happened to him, how he gets put in a mental institution. Uh, it's a very trippy kind of take on this uh, almost documentary film kind of thing. Right off the bat, this movie has possibly one of the best single leading performances I've ever seen. Tom Hardy is immersed in this role as Bronson, uh, Charlie Bronson, this, this notorious criminal. Um, it's almost uncanny to see it. He plays it with subtlety, ferocity, he just dives into this. Now that's not to say that some of the other people in the movie aren't good, they are. But they're very much, you know, just background pieces to this grand stage play that Charlie Bronson's putting on. And Tom Hardy just delivers on every angle. Uh, he's unrecognizable as Tom Hardy. He is Charlie Bronson. Now Nicholas Winding Refn has done six films. He had the Pusher Trilogy, he has Bronson, he did Valhalla Rising, and he did Drive. Now we've already watched Drive in the movie club, I said I loved it, but I would kind of have to point out how wildly different all of his movies are. Now Drive is a very subtle movie. A lot of Drive plays out in the quiet scenes, the scenes with just music or, you know, just hanging silence. Um, Valhalla Rising is a movie that is very much just visual. Um, there's not much by way of plot or characterization or much of anything, but it's a visually immersive, powerful film. Bronson here is just a singular performance. It just steamrolls you with Tom Hardy's performance. Um, that kind of takes away from the plot and the pacing and, you know, the, just the general storytelling. It, it's a bit disjointed, a little hard to follow. Um, Refn's only series or, you know, movies that have been purely accessible to most audiences are the Pusher Trilogy. And if you haven't seen those, I recommend you check them out. Um, if you did not like Drive, but you also did not like Bronson, it meets right in the middle, and it's great. Bronson is very much a character piece, like I said. It is something that is driven by this performance of Tom Hardy. It is the bull in the china shop destroying everything to drives, you know, sweeping strokes in a painting. This is just sit back, get hit with it, and walk out and you're not sure what the hell happened. That's not to say Bronson is a bad film. It is not. It is a very good film. But the problem with Bronson and the thing that's going to make it inaccessible to a lot of people is that it's a very different kind of film. This is not the film you see most of the time. Again, the best thing I can say is this is an extreme parallel with Valhalla Rising. It is the, you know, acting and the power to Valhalla Rising's slow burn visual feast. Uh, for those that complained about Drive, this has a ton of dialogue, so there is that. I can't recommend Bronson to everybody. It is something that is very iffy. Uh, some people are really going to like this movie. Um, a lot of people I think that are in theater can appreciate the, you know, just crazy range that's displayed in this film. 
then again, there are people that want a solid story. They want something they can follow. They want some kind of attachment. And you do not have that in this film. Uh, Bronson is not a necessarily likable character, although there's a certain level, level of sympathy towards him because he's someone that kind of gets caught up in the system. Again, he doesn't murder anyone, but at the same time, he's locked up for a ludicrous amount of time for what would amount to maybe 10 years of prison time. Again, I'm really interested to see what other people think about this because while I really liked it and could appreciate it for what it was, I don't think a lot of other people are. And that's not necessarily bad. A lot of times I paint things as really black and white. It's like, this is good and if you don't like it, you're a fucking moron. You know, this is not one of those movies. This is something that you need to come to and I would say just have no expectations and either absorb it or repel it. You know, either way, it is a tour de force. It is something that maybe should be experienced, but possibly not for everybody. But that's it for me. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about Bronson. Um, I do review other movies, so check them out. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, but either way, I will see you guys next week with whatever the movie club movie is. And maybe I'll actually do some other videos sprinkled in there. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.